Hey guys and welcome back to this new video. In this episode I want to set up purchase um, in front of my photography height. If you haven't seen how I built my photography height yet, um, be sure to check it out in the end of this video. And now I think the first step we have to do is to think where we have to set up the purchase. So let's go. So here is my height and my plan is to set up the purchase somewhere here in this area and um, about three meters and um, far away from the height so that I can photograph with my 200 millimeter lens um, but also with my 600 millimeter lens and another thing I have to be careful is the background so when I set up the perch somewhere here for example and I photograph from here out there in this direction the background is quite close to the perch and if I set the perch somewhere here I can photograph like this and the background is far away so then I'm able to get a really smooth background so what I'm doing now is going into the forest behind me and look for some nice trees um, some mossy trees for example um, where the birds can sit down and where I can take photos so let's go oh my goodness guys I don't know if you know this feeling but I'm walking in the forest behind my height and I actually was never in this forest um, my whole life and then I found this nice place here check this out that's looking so amazing oh my goodness it's like in the paradise so it's quite untouched forest and the trees here are mossy and oh that's so amazing here are so many birds that's actually really good because oh my goodness guys I can see some birds I never saw before they are called in Germany gimbal they are sitting in this tree up there I don't know if you can see them oh my goodness they are right right here there 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 they are oh my goodness I have no idea how they are called in English but my plan is now to cut off one of these branches here because they are looking really beautiful and the good thing is that these trees I have no idea how they are called in English um, are growing up quite really fast so it's not that awful when I cut one of them off and exactly this I'm doing now then I can tell you how we go on Okay guys, check out this nice perch here, that's really really good and I want to make this into the ground now so that it is like that and then the birds, for example a tit or a jay or something else um, can sit down here and then fly to the bird feeder. My only problem is now that I'm not sure if the if this um, perch is long enough or high enough um, because the problem is when it is not high enough I photograph down to the stick or to the perch here and then the grass is in the background and not the colorful trees and because of this I think I have to take another little stick I can pull down into the ground then I can um, screw this um, to the stick and then it's higher um, so yeah, I think I look now for another little stick I can put down um, into the ground. Okay guys, now I have it like this. So I have this yeah, little pillow here in the ground and um, now I can fix the, the perch um, um, on this pillow. So that's really massive then. 
Um, my problem is that I forgot the nails and the hammer to, um, at home. But I have to come tomorrow again in any case because I have to install a bird feeder too so that the birds um, get attracted. Um, because otherwise this makes absolutely no sense. But it's already looking really really nice and then I install the bird feeder tomorrow somewhere here so that there is about that much space and between the bird feeder and the perch and then that should work okay guys now it's the next day and i already brought the bird feeder and some bird aid and everything i need and now i want to set up everything um, here in front of the height and then i will show you um, everything in detail so yeah i would say time lapse up Okay guys, everything is done now. That was actually a lot of work and I had to collect um, or test a lot of um, yeah, like pillows to install the uh, bird feeder because um, most of them the wood was quite really old and everything broke. Uh, but now I did it, it's definitely not perfect until now. Um, I think I have to improve this all the time again and again and when I have an idea I have to set up something else or I have to fix something and especially the bird feeder is not oh there was something in the forest um, especially the bird feeder is not really good until now but I have to improve this and um, the following weeks and month um, but for the first test if the birds are actually here and if they are sitting down to the perches I am um, I put out it's enough um, and now I just have to put some um, bird aid into the bird feeder and then it's time to wait about a week and then I can come again and look if I can take my first images so here is the bird feeder at the moment and um, you can see I have this perch on top and um, that's for some smaller birds like tits um, and you can also see that it is not really really stable right now it's yeah not that good but I think that's enough um, for the beginning and then I have this nice looking perch here and um, that's the one I found yesterday um, I I put it now in the ground and it's about yeah, a meter away from the bird feeder. So I hope that the birds are coming out of the forest and the bushes um, right here. And then they are flying to this perch and then to the bird feeder. Um, probably they are flying into this tree here, um, but I have to see this um, when, they, the, when the birds are actually here. And then I have this nice, yeah, it's kind of a tribe, I don't know what's the English name. Um, and I put this here especially for, for example, chase or blackbirds or probably some robins. And that's actually looking really, really nice. At the moment I just have one big fear and that's um, this one here. That's not that stable. For tits and smaller birds that's okay. But I'm not sure, when they're sitting down, for example, a chay, hopefully that's not, yeah, getting broken. But, of course, I only can um, make this experience when actually a bigger bird is sitting down here. So now it's time to put some bird aid into the bird feeder. Um, I have this big um, bucket here with bird aid and, yeah, I can just open it and put it in. Okay, I think that should be enough for the beginning. And I also put some bird M8 on top of this yeah, tribe here, because then I hopefully can attract some chase or some blackbirds or something like that. So birds who are eating on the ground. So that's quite good because in this tribe here there are some um, natural holes and that's perfect for bird aid.
Okay guys, everything is set up now and I finished everything. The bird aid is on top of the tribe and in the bird feeder. And now it's actually only time to wait until the birds um, recognize that here is food. And then I can hopefully take my first photos. And guys, I can tell you, I'm so excited. And I'm waiting to this moment until a year. Um, until I have the idea that I want to put out a photo blind. And I'm really interested in what you think about this height and the um, purchase I set here. Um, do you think I'm successful or do you have anything that is missing? Um, then please write it down in the comments below. So I'm really excited to read your ideas and your opinion. I hope that I already can photograph the first birds next week or probably in two weeks. So the next video is exactly about that. And if you don't want to miss that, make sure to su subscribe my channel and activate the clock. I hope we see us next week or probably in two weeks um, then when the first birds are here and I was successful. And yeah, have a great week. See you out there. Bye.